What is going on my dudes, Stolen back here in Age of Wyverns on Conan Exiles and uh, today I want to show you guys how to make uh, steel and harden steel real quick. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So firstly you're going to need iron bars. If you don't know how to get iron bars, take a look at my uh, iron bar video. But uh, anyway, so make sure you have a furnace, throw your iron bars into your furnace along with steel fire. Uh, now it's going to take five iron bars and one steel fire to make one steel bar. So if you don't know how to make steel fire, we're going to go talk about that real quick. So uh, I'm going to run inside, go to your cauldron, and uh, it should be one of the recipes over here in the crafting section, steel fire. It takes two tar and one brimstone uh, to make, let's see, one steel fire. So if you don't know how to get tar, uh, tar is, well we'll talk about that in a minute, so anyway if you have uh, the tar and the brimstone you can uh, click activate on the cauldron and you can see in the crafting queue uh, I am crafting steel fire. So again that is two tar and one brimstone. So we're going to talk about tar and brimstone. Uh, firstly tar, if you don't know how to get tar uh, check out my video for tanning uh, using the tanning rack where we tan leathers. Uh, so basically whenever we're tanning leathers uh, or whenever you're, you're trying to get tar, uh, the best thing to do is just throw any animal heads or any hides uh, you get from animals with the uh, skinning dagger or the cleaver. Just throw them all in here, and I don't have any in here right now because I didn't go hunting uh, recently. I actually turned all my stuff into leather, but whenever you put hides or heads or fur or whatever uh, it tans it into leather and it gives you one tar so if you're doing hide uh, for every three hide you get one tar but for any one head of just about anything you get one tar uh, so anyway that's how you get tar and you can see I've got some actually in my inventory already and the brimstone so uh, I'm gonna be taking a trip up to the brimstone mine now and I'm also gonna throw up a map for you guys to see where uh, all the brimstone is but for me I've got one uh, marked out that's kind of near me and it's right here so I'm gonna go there all right dude so I made it to uh, the cave that I usually get brimstone at and uh, I think that there's usually gonna be people around caves with brimstone so make sure you're safe I'm just gonna run past them but brimstone is this just in case you're not sure uh, what brimstone looks like it is this uh, golden looking brick stuff stone here and uh, this cave I'm not sure if it's like I'm not sure if all the brimstone caves uh, are like this, but I know there are a lot of brimstone uh, to gather over on the uh, east side of the map over with like the gorillas and stuff with the water. Uh, I haven't been to any of those uh, resource spots yet, but I know this cave here has uh, just tons of. You can make a nice little run here and then uh, just go back to base. So if I die, it's all right because I actually respawn with all my stuff on me. So I'm going to go back and show you guys now uh, coal. So another way to get tar that we didn't talk about uh, is crafting down coal in the fluid press so uh, I will throw up a map with the coal and the brimstone on it so you guys can see uh, where you guys can like gather that in the map all right I made it back to the fluid press um, and I want to show you guys another way to get tar uh, is by squeezing the coal uh, in a fluid press or whatever so it takes five coal to make one tar so now that you guys know how to make tar we're gonna go back and uh, kind of reverse here now we were talking about we need the tar uh, and the brimstone to make steel fire so once you have tar and brimstone now that we have it we're gonna run back to our cauldron we're gonna throw in the tar and the brimstone which I think we already have some in there anyway and uh, then we're gonna make the let's see brimstone tar they are gonna make some more uh, steel fire and this steel fire is how you make the steel so um, to make the hardened steel now we're gonna take the uh, steel bars and we're gonna put it in a furnace with the brimstone so I have that already here uh, you can see I have 32 steel bars and 200 brimstone 
Now if I activate it, you can see in the crafting section it's making 15 steel bars. So for every two steel bars and one brimstone, you get one hardened steel bar. So it compacts it in uh, two bars into one for every one brimstone. So anyway dudes, so that is how you make the steel and the hardened steel bars. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. Now uh, like I said, I'm going to put up that map once again for you guys. Now the uh, yellow uh, dots is the are the brimstone areas and the black dots are the coal areas so if you're making tar with coal uh, that's a good idea usually I just skin all the animals that I kill and then put their hide in the uh, tanning rack that way I generate uh, tar that way but if you're doing both ways whatever I think coal is probably a better idea uh, for every five you get one and coals I don't know it's just easier to get you don't have to like kill stuff you can just go mining but uh, it's whatever either way anyway I hope you guys got something out of this video keep an eye out for more how to's I'll be showing you guys how to make this sweet ass torch and where to gather the uh, stuff for it as well as how to beat the boss and unlock the uh, armor that I'm wearing the reptilian armor and that, that is the abysmal uh, or that is the Abyssal Reaver or something. I don't know. It's somewhere in like chapter four or five. Destroy the Abyssal Remnant. So I'm going to show you guys that stuff too. Anyway, dudes, uh, I will catch you guys on the flip flop.